This video is brought to you by myvayteaching.com. Also, figure is a tube which connects the mouth to the stomach. It is commonly known as food pipe. The food coming from the mouth moves through this oesophagus by the process called peristalsis. Let us try to understand this process of peristalsis. What happens is that when the food enters the oesophagus from the mouth, it is partially digested. The muscles in the walls of this oesophagus start alternately contracting and relaxing due to which a wave like movement is produced and which pushes the food down to the stomach. Please don't look at this blue marks in the picture. They are not of relevance to us. Now the question arises that also figures is contracting and relaxing and hence pushing the food down. Then what happens when we vomit? We should know what happens when we vomit because what, will, what happens in vomiting? The food comes from the stomach to the mouth. So what should happen? The direction of the movement of food is opposite. And this process is called anti peristalsis. Now the food enters the stomach. The stomach is a thick walled pack present on the left side of the abdomen. It is the widest part of the elementary canal. Also figures brings the slightly digested food from the mouth into the stomach. Now the food is further digested in the stomach. What is the process that takes place? Inside the stomach, food is churned at least for 3 hours and during this time, it breaks into smaller pieces and forms semi-solids. Now it becomes like a paste. The inner lining of the stomach secretes mucus, hydrochloric acid and digestive juices. Now what is the role of mucus? Mucus here protects the lining of the stomach. Hydrochloric acid kills the bacteria that may have entered the stomach with food. It also makes the stomach acidic because it is necessary for the proper action of digestive juices and the digestive juices break down the proteins present in the food that we eat. Still the digestion is not complete. This partially digested food then enters the small intestine. So let us look at the function of small intestine. 